Serve hot, just the way you like it. Here's your weekly serving of food, news, and views. Tim Beeman, Stephanie Hess, and Nikki miller Ka are Tart and Tangy Triad. Hey guys, this is Tim from Tart and Tangy Triad. I remind everyone to go to the website, tartandtangytriad.com. Like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. You may have noticed there was no show this week. There was scheduling conflicts. We just couldn't do it. But Stephanie and I did come by to make a video and she's going to talk about cereal because if you remember it used to be part of a balanced breakfast I don't really know what that ever meant but uh, maybe somehow it became unbalanced I don't know just a reminder I am still writing that article for the local uh, magazine and it's not come out yet so uh, there's no reason to tell you what it is just yet but it will be coming but we know it's going to be called tapped in the craft talking about beer Tapped in the Craft, Libations and Victuals, uh, and it will be coming out soon. Uh, remind everybody, go by the, our official sponsor, Washington Perk, WashingtonPerk.com, the two locations, 228 West Acadia Avenue and 301 West 4th Street, downtown Winston-Salem. And uh, until next week, the 30th of June, my name is Tim saying thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and bon appétit. Hi there, and happy Friday, everybody. Well, if you've been listening to the news this week, you've heard that there's some news about General Mills, uh, which is one of the big food companies. Um, they put out the announcement that they're going to be removing all artificial colors and flavors and everything from their cereal, which, you know, you're about to think that I'm being hard on General Mills, but actually, I think that that's a great idea. But it just made me think back to some of the history of General Mills. How long have they been around and what kind of cereals do they have? So I did a little bit of digging. Turns out General Mills um, began as a mill by um, Cadwallader Washburn in about 1866. And fast forward a little while to 1928 and officially became General Mills. And since then they have made more cereals than I think any of us can count. What I think is interesting is that they're kind of walking the line between really, really sugary, you know, junky cereals and really, really healthy cereals, sometimes at the same time. So, in fact, the last time they made a big announcement about their new healthy cereals was this one. Great news! This is from 1964 when they announced that they were going to be using a no-calorie sweetener in their cereal which seemed like a great idea at the time, but they're probably not using it anymore. So some examples are, while General Mills is the maker of such childhood favorites as Boo Berry and Count Chocula and Cocoa Puffs, and does anybody remember ice cream cones from the 80s or strawberry shortcake from 1982? Hands up. At the same time, they were releasing cereals like Buckwheats and Body Buddies, which was supposed to be healthy cereal for kids, Bran Muffin Crisps, and Fiber One. So they've been kind of all over the map with that, but good luck to them. I think it's probably an improvement, and we'll do a taste test and see what we think, and we'll see you next week. The views and opinions expressed in this podcast are solely those of the contributors and are not necessarily shared by our distributors or hosting company. This podcast is copyrighted and cannot be reproduced without express written consent of such and such limited ink. Mm-hmm. Yeah, girl. <laughs>